Greetings and welcome to Cute Anime Figures TV. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're taking a look at Ever After High. Madalena Hatter, the daughter of the Mad Hatter, from the Getting Fairest series. So let's take a closer look at her and all her accessories in today's video review. So here we are with Ever After High. And today we're looking at the Getting Fairest series and we're having a look at Madeline Hatter. Daughter of the Mad Hatter. So these are the Getting Fairest series and uh, they're made by Mattel in 2013. And she is a rebel. So um, as you can see the packaging is quite similar to the other ones but it is in blue and that's uh, just to match uh, Madeline uh, Hatter's uh, look I suppose. You got the Ever Have to High lock here with a key and as you can probably see it's got her name in there and the Getting Fairest series and obviously you get this uh, kind of a thing here to Put our hats on there, the shelf. And, that, and obviously on the side here we've got Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Hatter. Also got that little icon there for the Ever After High. Also here it's changed from like a rose, well a crown to um, a heart with wings because it's rebel. And, that, and also this is her appearance that you see her in this outfit in the packaging here. So on the side we got different packaging because uh, these come with these accessories here. Kind of similar to like a book style but it's different to the other ones. Now we'll look at the back of the packaging. Um, you can probably see here like a tablet looking thing and that like texting and stuff or whatever. In the wave we've got Raven Queen, Apple White, Briar Beauty, and also Madeline Hatter as well. We've got everafterhigh.com here at the bottom. All different things. And that says here fashion from gown to toe. Are you a royal or a rebel? That's what it says there. It says ever after high. And it's in blue. Uh, just to match Madeline here. That, uh, I think you see pictures of some of the other characters in that in here. Also you can display with two different headbands. I'm going to display the w one with the teapot since it looks pretty amazing and looks good. So same similar sort of packaging as we've seen with the other ones. Now apart from it's a bit different, so yeah, let's actually get her opened up and that. I actually did see these two, but I only decided to get Raven Queen and Madeline Harris since they didn't have her, those two in the regular ones. I decided to get the Getting Fairest versions of them, but hopefully we can get hold of Apple White and Briar Beauty in those since I already have regular versions of them just thought I might review two other characters and these are the rebels this time so the others are royals yeah. well, anyway it looks pretty cool on the packaging there 
So let's actually get her opened up and stuff. And uh, yeah, looks a bit different to the other ones. So it looks like we've got things up there for that. Kind of similar to the other one, apart from these are inside now. Just better, I think. But you can actually get them opened up there. Obviously, you still got them on the side here. Let's see if I can get them out. I go, that's that one. And this one here. And ones at the top. Okay. And I think this has something to do with some tape here. And, uh, tape going on. With that. Yeah, just opened up quite recently. Okay. Also, we've got the ones at the bottom. I'll um, mask it out. Can I watch the packaging now at the bottom here? Same similar style to the other ones. There's nothing. Unfortunately, her shoe kind of came off, uh, so I can actually put it back on in a bit. So, very cute. They have some teapots on them. Right. I'm just going to get the top here because I know they've got some tape. Going on. And so, yeah. take out. Stand. The way the stands are different. They are black and got this clear thing. So that's that. Just get this piece out here. Yank it open. Oh dear. Put my lean it like that so we've got a bit more room. Look. But same similar stand apart from it's clear. And obviously got the same uh, hairbrushes as usual in the same stand apart from this is in black and clear, which is nice. Right, so it's those. We have to build a stand up.
There's the uh, display stand, as you can probably see. And here's that. Got to put the groove into there. Like that. I don't know if it's in there perfectly. Obviously, got this clear thing going on there. Like that. And the key is a hairbrush. So, I'm going to try and get some of these accessories out first. Um, I'm going to try and get this here. And so, so we can actually get to the cell. So I've uh, got that, and obviously it's got these things here holding them, which I'll sort out right now. I'm just going to do it. This is kind of like an extra table for her headbands, and it actually does say about the high right in there. So, yeah, one with like a hat there, and this other one with a hat on it. And it was on there. Like that. So it's kind of like a little uh, thing for just to put things on like a table. It's pretty good. So uh, yeah, let's try and get her out. Now um, I already got the other foot out, so that was easy. She actually has uh, these shoes that you can take off. Down for a bit, and we'll go on that side. And go that. And try and get her out of the She has uh, those tags at the back of her head. And I think she has a thing holding her hair there. There we go, that's better. That. And I think there is actually another one holding her other hair. Tags back at home. You know that. For uh, experience, obviously. Yeah. Excuse me if my elbow is in the way. I'm trying to uh, use tags. I don't know. Try and do it from here. There we go. And there's another one. So it's like three holding her to the actual thing. 
Excuse me while I sell all this out. Madeline. Excuse me a second. Okay, so here's uh, Madeline. As you can probably see, she's very cute indeed. Just bring it all around a bit. Kind of had to tie that back a bit again because I kind of messed her hair up a little bit. 
you know, these shears back on. As well as those on this side. And I remember. So yeah, as well as on here. Then this old one actually fits on this old one and here. Very hard to get our shoes on. The best I can get them on, I suppose. Jeez, I'm never going to stand up properly, but... Um, let's kind of get a good look at these. There we go. That's kind of best I've got. Get a shoes on. Kind of look a little bit weird. No. You can see the backs there. The train. Yeah, they just come straight off. Can't seem to get feet within these shoes. My goodness. Like she don't want to wear them. So anyway, that uh, outfit looks pretty nice. See that? Got all these uh, teapots and uh, hats on here. No, it just looks like a lot of teacups, teapots and stuff. Same similar articulation as usual. Kind of got her hair and pigtails there. Kind of similar color hair to Twyla's from Monster High. Articulation. No. Even in the arms here as well. Okay, kind of good look. That outfit, very nice. Indeed. You can actually wear two different. Uh, Headbands, this is the one with the T pot on it, and that's the old two that's in there. I think she looks better with this one. 
default now. No, let's actually get her on the stand first before I show it off the rest of the accessories which she includes. Yeah. Put it down here for a minute. Kind of fits on there pretty good. Let's get her on here so we can lower her down. Now, oh, there we go. Okay, her outfit down there like that. It is okay. So I don't need shoes. I don't seem to want to stay on there. Kind of crazy. What's going on? And she has this uh, hair comb again, similar to uh, the others, apart from it's in black. You see that? Very useful indeed. That uh, hair all over the place here. She has this uh, rack here with the other uh, half to high logo on it. Okay, it's got a couple of other different headbands for her. One's like a top hat with a love heart on it, and the other one's got like a hat on it. A little hat there and a bow. Very nice. It's in like a pink, gold, kind of blue colour, they're yeah, like a light greenish blue turquoise and this is kind of like a darker turquoisey colour and stuff and pink. Very nice indeed accessory, show you the back of it. Yeah. It's very nice indeed. And like I said you can put the uh, hairbrushes at the side. And they kind of want to stand up if if they want to. And so sort of like that. Also, another accessory she comes with is this compact. See here, a really nice tiny detail. On there, very nice. And it does open up like it is now, and you can close it. Just like that. Very nice accessory. You can actually put it down here somewhere if you want. Oh, if you want, could I open it up? If I can actually get it open up again. Yeah, opened up again. They're very nice. If you want you could balance it in her hand if you want. There goes that uh, thing. If you want you could balance it in her hand. Just like that. And I know that key kind of wants to fall down and stuff. Just take this off here so you can get a good look at her. I really wish those uh, shoes kind of 
flow between her feet and that but they kind of want to stay like that at the moment to show you the back of her she fits on her stand very nicely it's like clear translucent at the back and a black stand there All the articulations there, it's just the same as the other ones. And that's uh, very nice indeed. Can I show you a close up of her? Plus, see, there was a shoes there, they kind of have teapots on them. And then in purple as well. Getting up to the outfit there, that looks really cool. Kind of got like a mini skirt there. Not, no necklace, obviously. She has her hair and like these pigtails. Got a teapot headband there, that's in gold and then blue. Makeup looks pretty cool. And I got like a nice uh, pink lipstick there, like a dark pink. Or whatever, or red. She's got like purple and uh, you know, like a dark purple hair and kind of like a turquoise hair, kind of similar to Twyla's from Most High. Very nicely indeed. Now, and she does include this very cute stand here, so she can actually put her hover headbands on that. Very nice indeed, and it actually does stand up quite nicely. And obviously, you can have the key there as well. Show you that around the back there, so you get a good look at it. Very nice. Yeah, it's just that uh, her shoes don't kind of sit flawlessly against her ankles. Yeah, that's the only one thing. Uh, I can't seem to get them really close up to there. Uh, but overall, still pretty cool doll to have. Still loving that jacket she's wearing. Ooh, just not that out of her hand. Alright, that's kind of flowing in the back. There. Yeah. Put that in her hand. So I like how it's kind of shaped there so she can actually hold it in her hand. That's really great. You know, yet again, we got that key here. I don't know if this key is going to stand up properly or not. If it does, that would be perfect. No, kind of a key issue problem there. Alright, I'll go to my final thoughts in a few minutes. Alright. I don't have anything else in here. No. Nope. So, let's actually get things put back the box and then it's final thought. Thoughts for her. She doesn't include a uh, book, like a little booklet thing, uh, like the regular ones do. Uh, instead of that, you've got this uh, nice hat stand, which is very nice indeed. A nice to have a uh, hat stand in instead of uh, a little story thing, but that's okay, you know, to give them something different this time around. Yeah, man. 
back right over here. Tabs. Uh, well, there we go. So yeah, I love that if uh, shoes kind of sit flawlessly uh, round an ankle, but I can't seem to get it to do that. Um, I don't think we have time to fix that. It kind of looks okay at the moment. Tabs off. Okay, I think I've sorted that out here. Um, Okay, final thoughts for uh, Madeline Hatter. Okay, let's see if we can get this uh, key to uh, stand outside of her. Right. <laughs> it's kind of blowing all the place right there. Uh, that's crazy. Okay, let's sort her shoes out. That uh, compact likes to uh, fall. Falling accessories. <laughs> so if I can get. It. That's better. Yeah, that key to stand up properly. So yeah, that's why it looks like the headband. It's got like a purple thing, is that? And the other one's like black and uh, and like purple. That's uh, purple and uh, kind of greenish color. Okay. Kind of wants to sit there, then it just doesn't want to. All right. Okay, so let's go uh, our final thoughts for Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Hatter.
So these are the Getting Fairest ones and uh, they come with a little uh, display table as you can see in their own very own design no. like a little accessory table for them that's really cool so yeah the articulation is still there it's perfect um, the outfit looks really cool on her she has a headband with a teapot on it to go along with the Mad Hatter theme which is like a tea party or something um, she comes with a black display stand with the ever have to high on it and it's sculpted as the locket of the book the actual book lock and you do get the key as well which is a hairbrush so you can actually comb her hair or brush her hair out, obviously and she is a rebel that, um, I don't know if she's supposed to be a royal or a rebel I'm not too sure, but obviously the box here is stating that uh, she is a rebel. So, anyway. Yeah, Madeline Hatter, uh, she's very cool, very interesting character, and I don't have the first one of her. This is probably the second variation of Madeline Hatter that I've seen so far. Um, I think she is in those legacy ones. No, I think she is. I don't know, I'll have to check. But anyway, these are the Getting Fairest series, and we're going to be taking a look at Raven Queen soon, which will be the next one. So I only picked up like two of these Rebels and then two of the Royals for the first line and stuff. But overall, the detail is still beautiful, still got that good articulation like the Monster High dolls have and still come with this display stand and the display stands look very very cool indeed very cute so yeah I'm definitely happy to have uh, Madeline Hatter to go along with the other two that I have Bride Beauty and uh, Apple White so yeah today we've been having a look at Ever After High, Getting Paris, Madeline Hatter Daughter of the Mad Hatter. So, uh, yeah, definitely recommend her. Um, there's two different variations of her, which, no, it's three, obviously, if she is in the uh, Legacy line. So, there's probably three different variations of Madeline to choose from. But this variation comes with a, obviously, a doll stand as usual, a little compact mirror, um, like a little makeup mirror. She comes with three different headbands, one with the gold teapot on it and it's in like a blue um, colour and the other one comes with uh, so on this stand here we've got two more different headbands within this set so you get like one, two, three headbands for her to wear you can display with either which of them. I just prefer the one that's displayed on the box art, which looks a lot better than the other two. But even though you still got an option of changing that yourself if you want for different displays, and yeah, she looks great. Her makeup is just very basic and stuff, and that and uh, yeah. There you go, Madeline Hatter from Ever After High. Um, very interesting character, and that's just about all I have to say. The keys do slot in the style of the stand if you want to display them that way. You don't have to, but um, I'm glad they actually do. It's somewhere to put them rather than putting them back in the packaging. And I'm glad they do include them just in case the hair gets really messy outside the packaging, obviously. Now you'll probably need a hair brush to just to brush that hair. And that, uh, yeah, overall, very cool. I just wish that her shoes would like fit um, perfectly on her ankles. It kind of wants to like slip off, and I think one of the shoes did actually slip off in the packaging. Um, and one of them was actually on, and one like kind of slipped off for some reason. I just don't know, but. Anyway, 
They are removable if you want to remove the shoes. So yeah, there you go. Marilyn Hatter. From Ever After High. Getting Ferris series. If you got any questions or comments, post them below the video. Tell me who your favourite Ever After High character is or doll. And yeah, that's just about it. Really. Definitely highly recommend picking her up. She is a very cool character and I think she is kind of crazy in some kind of scenes in the Era After High uh, series because nah, I know she kind of has a little mouse in her teapot that's kind of a bit strange and mad and crazy but overall she's still a fun character to have and display as well so until then take care I'll see you guys very very soon until then and here's a quick display video showcasing Madeline Hatter on display. Till then, thanks for watching everybody. Till next time. So here we are with Madeline Hatter from Ever After High Getting Ferris series and as you can see she is very very cute and adorable and she does have her, her accessories she has a black display stand and clear stand as well. Hold her up, and that, and you can probably see the old keys there as well. All kind of fit to go in the same way. But there you go. There's Madalena, Hatter, from Getting Fairest. Definitely highly recommend picking her up along with the other two regular versions of Upper White and Blair Beauty. Or Bride Beauty, whatever her name is. I can't really forget sometimes, but anyway. Till then, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Till then, take care. Cue down, man.